Hello friends, thank you for stopping by for today's nugget, Feather Thought, and the summary of lesson number four. You know, for the past few days, we have learned different aspects of what the Bible means when it calls Jesus our brother. We have seen that Jesus adapted our human nature and become our nearest relative and redeemed us. Though being God and commanding the worship, the worship of angels, he was not ashamed to call us brothers and sisters. We have, been, we have seen Jesus becoming like us, a little lower than the angel, and tasted death on our behalf. Jesus fought the battle against sin on our behalf and won. We have seen that because he himself suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. In other words, because he suffered, he is able to help us when we suffer and tempted. We have seen that Jesus is the founder and perfecter of our faith. He gave us the example of obedience, but he also gave us the power to obey because he is God. So Ellen White writes, one of my favorite writers, that Christ came to the earth taking humanity and standing as man's representative to show us in the controversy with Satan that man, as God created him, connected with the Father and the Son, could obey every divine requirement. Friends, life on this side of heaven is tough. We all have spiritual battles to fight against sin and against self. This week's lesson has reminded us that we do not fight that battle alone. And woe to us if we were to attempt to fight it alone. Because in our own strength, we are no match for the enemy of man. But Jesus stepped into the rank for us. He became like us, took on human nature. And on our behalf, he won the battle against sin and against Satan. His victory is our victory. May we encourage by the truth as we journey through this life. God bless you for joining me this week. Next week, Pastor Bob is taking week five. See you and God bless you.